Mount my chair, all alone. There are days I like to be all alone with Christ, my Lord. I can tell it on my chair, all alone. The China West. There are days to fast and pray for the pilgrim. Blessed Lord Divine, there's peace and joy supply when we take our sorrows to Him alone. Father, today we thank you for your goodness and your favor. Oh my God, in a world of hopelessness, my God, we thank you that indeed there is hope. He said, in the world we shall have tribulation, but in me shall have peace. Glory, hallelujah. Lord said, be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. The great Yahweh dwell between the children of the Lord of hosts, your name. We shine forth like the earth till your glory, Almighty God. Let your glory rest upon us, your light shine out of us. Be exalted far above the heaven, be exalted far above the earth. Be exalted far above the heavens, let thy glory be above the clouds, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Mashima, the great, our Lord. Your Abba, the great, El Shaddai, the great. Yahweh the great, Elohim the great, Adonai the great, Hashem the great, great Abba for our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Hashem, Manuel the great, and to whom he said, sit on my right hand till I may end with thy footstool. Father, we thank you for your grace and your favor, my God. 
Hey man, the world is crumbling down, my God, tumbling down. My God, our Father. Oh my God, everything is crushing down. My God, the weight of sin and of evil, my God, coming down upon this world. And the devil, the Bible says, is in our short time, come with great wrath, my God, is pressing mankind, letting them fight against each other, crushing them one another. Merciless to God. Every day you turn on the news, they listen. Sometimes I want to listen to it, but God, I, I just turn my head and the tears come to my eyes, my heart is broken, I cringe within myself. My God, how men can be so wicked, my God. Amen. People standing in a line for food, and you shoot them, my God, say so you are afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid that the people would live. My God, what on earth is some people so wicked? I mean, but they will have to give account to God because they can lead the army. The most they can do is stand them home by something if they don't want to kill people. My God, they can lead the army because they will have to give account to you in the day of judgment. Well, Father, they can't say that the Prime Minister or the President told them to shoot people. They can leave the army and go home and say, well, I'm not going to do it, my God. The Bible tells us in the days of Saul, he told the army to kill the priests of God. And the priest turned and looked and said, no way. You're going to tell us to kill the priests of God? He said, no way, we're not doing it. He said, we're not doing it, Saul, <coughs> your king. Of, How dare you tell us to kill innocent people? How dare you? My God, he said, we have to give account to God. And they said, we're not doing it, my God. So today we thank you, Father. Amen. I know that they are just men and they are righteous men today, my God. Amen. And in this world, there's a remnant, my God. There's a remnant. Amen. There's a remnant. People have, have, have lost their lives for the gospel's sake, my God. Not because people are your enemies, the Bible tells you. In the days of, of Adam, I think it was Jehoram, my father, wicked king, his son of Ahab. He wanted to kill the Syrians, even when Richard had come to capture Elisha. And Elisha looked at him and said, like, he said to him, who are you going to kill those who have already captured the boy? He said, feed them with food and send them home. Or we're going to kill them for what? He said, no, they came here on a, on a wasted mission, trying to kill me. But I let them see that they can't do it. I have no malice against them. I send them back home. Now they won't come back to try to do the same thing they did before. But why there is a God in heaven. My God, we thank you that you have a thing in mercy. Oh God, I'm telling you, because if you were not merciful, all of us would have been perished already on this earth. My God, none of us deserve it of your mercy today, my God. And so we thank you that there was one who, the Lord, who died on the cross. He died for all sinners. He died for every man and every woman, boy and girl, my God. Amen. What a world where there's no future, my God. Yet still, you're telling them there's a future. A future, there's a future, my God. There's a future, there's a future, my God. Amen. But we thank you that there's a future, a future of eternity, my God, when nations shall not lift up sword against nation, and neither shall they learn war anymore. Nobody will be studying how to germ warfare and how and, um, and, and, and these things where they make of, wet, of um, chemicals they drop in the air to kill our people, make them sick. Nobody be trying to find out those things. Nobody be trying to make planes and drones and all these things, trying to see how fast they can destroy people. My God, amen. Nobody be coming out and saying, I'm offering you uh, um, 100,000 so you can go out to fight. And you go out there and and, and you as a fool and, and, and the money, you don't even know if anybody even gets it what they offer to you, my God. And so it is. Men are, are wicked, my God, wicked. Amen. Have a father. Amen. Have a father. But whatever they sow, that shall they also reap. Amen. They think no one is going to bring them to judgment. But their word is said today, he shall judge among the people. Hallelujah. And shall rebuke strong nations the fire. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pudding. I, God Almighty, the Most High, said it. Amen. I'll judge them, our oh, Father. And I'll make sure I put a stop to it because it shall not go on in my kingdom. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. And neither shall they learn more anymore. Father, what a blessed assurance we have that they look for the bridegroom and the coming of our Lord. So, Father, I pray today that you bless us to live for thee. 
Amen. All the people today, desperate, my God, desperate, desperate, starvation, my God, waiting for something to eat, scraps, scraps, scraps. Who would have thought something like that would happen in this day and age, my God, instead of them take the money and feed them, they take the money to kill them. But a day is coming when they, the judge shall sit, the judgment shall sit, and the book shall be opened. And every man will have to give account before you, my God. As your word is short to me, that when it, when it comes up and, and all these people, the Lord will tell me, all these people you have killed. And here they are before me now. These people have killed them. And there they are before me. What should I do with you now? What should I do with you? I'll be terrified in that day, my God. No one, there'll be no lawyer, no barrister, no uh, solicitor. Nobody can stand before you because the judgment shall sit on everyone. We'll have to give account before you. All the, the Satan that they have served and they have shown off themselves in this world. Of Satan won't be able to harm him. say a word of my father on their behalf. Amen, Father. So, Father, we thank you. A day of judgment is coming. You shall judge the world. And the judge standeth at the door. Father, I thank you today. I pray for those of us who have made our call and election sure to be faithful unto the end. So, Father, I pray that you cause us to rise up before you. Someone who is sick today, Lord, I pray for their healing. I pray for them, my God, today when I think, ah, oh, you don't know, my God, my heart breaks. If I have to throw away a piece of food today, and I think of people who are scraping a pan, have an empty pan today, right? They have them in Sudan. They are in Ethiopia. They are in Gaza. They are in Ukraine. They are in all manner of places, my God. Don't know where to turn. And sometimes you have something and you have to throw it away. My God, sometimes you sit down and you eat. Because you have a heart of God in you. You think of those people who have nothing. And all they can look forward to is death. My God, because your heart, you have a heart like unto Christ. But we know that there is a day coming when nation shall not lift a sword against nation. And neither shall they learn war anymore. And this is our hope today, my God. This is our hope. And so, Father, I pray for hope, for salvation, for all your people. That when the saints of God are gathered, the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, the dead in Christ shall rise, and the card of the meat in the skies, when time shall be no more. I will find that everyone who will listen to this message and the sound of my voice today will be accounted worthy to stand before you, to see the great, high and mighty King who shall come with his Glory of his Father and the glory of our angels. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, I pray you bless us to live for thee. Cause us to rise up before thee. Establish our going out and our coming in. Grant that the purpose you have for our lives accomplish in us for time unto eternity. And cover on the blood of the great eternal lamb. Cover on the almighty wings of the great eternal land. And go before us as a pillar of fire by night, pillar of cloud by day. Save us in your kingdom, and the Lord shall the grace shall come in glory. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, we shall agree to our Lord, our Christ, our Emmanuel. Bless the Lord, hallelujah. Sometimes I think of my daddy, and I'm saying like, if my father was alive now, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what he would do with himself. Because if I'm feeling this way, <laughs> And I came into this thing long after him. I, I don't know what he would be doing himself. Like when he see these prophecies and the things, the wickedness of man, and the things that are happening. Eh? I'm telling you, this is it. Do you have to talk about it? Right? Wickedness, wickedness, and all of these things are planned. Planned. And the devil have been fighting against each other. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the king.
tell you, this, this war you see, the prophet said, that this war you see happening in Israel and Gaza, is going to rip the world apart. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. It's going to tear the whole world apart. It's going to tear the whole world apart. And when I read these prophecies, I never in dreams think that this is how it would play out. It would play out in such a, 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 a wicked, I mean, you know, I'm telling you, mm -mm, my God. It's going to rip the world apart. Scripture here I sent out and um, I went on WhatsApp and everybody who communicates with me on WhatsApp and on my phone, I think it's maybe like 80 something people all together. I sent it to them and um, it is in Second Corinth, Second um, Second Thessalonians um, chapter two. Um, Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse uh, seven. I think it is. Um, but a lot of things you see happening here now should have happened already. Okay? According to the plan of the devil. But God is slowing it down. And somebody, somebody's out there who God wants to see. The Bible said the angels are holding back the four winds. That the wind should not blow until that seal the servant of God their fire. But if it wasn't that God was holding it back, I'm telling you, this thing going to happen already. I don't know if it's you who need to be saved, but I'm telling you, the Bible said, now is the acceptable time. Today is the day of salvation. Take it while you have it, because you can't tell what will happen tomorrow. If there will be a tomorrow. And I don't say that lightly. Because if you don't wake up, then there'll be no tomorrow for you, or for me, what might be? There won't be any tomorrow for me. I don't wake up tomorrow, how am I gonna know if there's a tomorrow? The day will come, yes, but I won't be there. If 
God chose to take me out of this life while I'm in my sleep tonight. So, my grandmother used to say, buy up the opportunity. Take it while you can get it. I sing hallelujah, shout one more time. As we close. Israel reading, We're talking about tomorrow, you never know about tomorrow. And one day the man came out and he said, He said, God will. I never used to say God will enough. He's it's like the man heard me when I was talking in front of the TV. And after that, every time he said, God will, and even before the war, it's very serious. Israel goes ahead with that war, continues the rough, as they said. Missiles gonna come hit them like they have no idea where they are coming from. But I don't understand why you wanna live in a world where you know peace. You know they never hated love Jews from before. Now the word Jew has become like a a pariah state or something. I mean, people hate Jews now more than any time, than the time of Hitler. Oh my God. How could somebody be so stupid? Or did the devil work in with them? You know? They're taking orders from the devil. But we're taking our orders from the majesty and high. We look for him when he shall come in glory. The Prince of Peace. As I close, I want you to remember. He shall 
Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. Mm-hmm. 